right, we're just getting over here to East Arkansas to our farm at Cypress Bend. We're gonna be doing just a basic maintenance day, uh, checking our, our water, checking the pipes, making sure that the beavers haven't stopped us up too bad. We're about 15, 20 minutes away now, uh, just getting in over here to Gregory. And uh, we got Bailey and Andrew with me. It's gonna be a good day of filming. We got, we got some nag gear content we wanna knock out. Uh, we're gonna do some photo shoots. We're gonna bring you guys along with this, kind of show you a little behind the scenes what we're doing and uh, just make sure everything's rolling smoothly over here at Cypress Bend. You guys stick around for it. It is good to be back here, baby. Just got to camp. Gonna throw our gear on inside, get our camera stuff lined out. Hopefully have a good day at the farm. So we're headed out to, uh, to the middle of the property here shortly. We got, uh, got all our camera stuff laid out. Andrew got his drone. Um, I think what we're gonna do first is check the, uh, the water, the ditches, make sure everything's good uh, before we lose daylight. But we've got some awesome scenery set up for these turkey photos. We're gonna get up in the, in the, in the deer stands and do some, some elevated uh, archery shots for the Nat Gear rut suits for the SE2 pattern. So we've got a fun afternoon ahead of us. We've got about four hours left of daylight. And, uh, we're just here at camp right now, enjoying the moment, so y'all stick around. One of these first spots I'm gonna check out, we call it the West Side Moist Soul Unit. You've probably seen on some of our last episodes. This is where Nate killed that big beaver and um, we shot our blue wing teal in this field. We, uh, about three weeks ago, we took a track hoe in here and we busted the levee and drained this thing completely dry. Uh, we had plans on building potentially a rice field or putting some corn out here for this next duck season. But as you can see back here behind me, it's still completely flooded. Yeah, as you can see the beavers right here completely clogged this ditch up. Uh, but the ditch back here is completely full and this ditch actually runs into the Cache River. So when the river's so high that you can't pull any water off your property, it's we're gonna be in trouble for a while. So hopefully in the next two or three months, this water will fall out, be able to get in here, get some work done, get these beavers out of here. Um, it's probably gonna be an ongoing process throughout the summer. And, you know, we're gonna have to get some heavy equipment over here to fix this problem. But, you know, what can you say? It's kind of part of the off season. You look forward to this time of year and, you know, that work will be worthwhile in November. We're gonna buzz over here uh, to our Northwest corner real quick, check out our timber. And then we'll get onto the, uh, the photo work here shortly. All right, we're here at the 12 acres. I mean, it's just ridiculous how much water's here. Actually more water here than there was during duck season. And we, uh, we didn't have to pump a single piece of this water. It's all rainwater completely filled itself up. I mean, if you were to walk out in the middle of that, it's probably thigh deep to waist deep, which is way too, too deep to duck hunt. Um, it's a brand new road that we're on right now. And we're trying to get it to where this water is, you know, completely enclosed by these roads. And we're gonna put a, a system in here where we can let the water in and out on command. But, you know, we're not gonna be able to get in here and install that unless this water completely drains itself out. This is a prime piece of timber right here. We shoot a lot of mallards here year in and year out. Got a brand new one acre hole cut in the middle of this thing. And, uh, you know, if we can regulate this water level, this 2019 season coming up should be pretty serious. We're gonna go take care of some media stuff in the bow stands and in the turkey woods. and. Uh, should be the end of our day after that. We're gonna be doing some archery stuff now for Nat Gear. They just released this new rut suit. It's an awesome piece of clothing. Got jackets, uh, pockets, got a spot for your, uh, your climbing harness, pants. I'm gonna get in this. I'm gonna hop up in that lock-on right there behind me and do some archery shots of me shooting down. Andrew's gonna get some photos. Bailey's gonna film it. Uh, kind of take you guys behind the scenes what we're doing here for Nat Gear. Just got to our final spot of the day. Um, we're shooting this new SC2 pattern from Nat Gear. They just redid the uh, 
the jacket and the pants, they replaced the sweatshirt, so it's a much better setup for this spring and early archery, but we're gonna be doing some work with uh, some of the turkey photos real quick. Andrew's banging out some good ones on the shutter over here. We got a perfect sunset. It's about 6.30, 7 o'clock, it's getting perfect, so hopefully these turn out good. We're just finishing up here at Cypress Bend. Run out of daylight, probably the next hour or so. April's got turkey season, and before you know it, deer and duck season will be here. Right. And uh, and the content and the, the work is just just now picking up. Off season starts here in the next month or two, and uh, I'm excited about it.